What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here back again with another awesome Yokai Watch 2 Psychic Specters Tips and Tricks tutorial video. Today's video is all about Orkanos. We're gonna show you guys step by step how to befriend him in this game. He's an exclusive. He is the one I would say one of the strongest of the Onis, especially in his boss form. So I'm super excited to bring this to you guys. We had a very fun time during our stream when we were getting him, so without further ado, enjoy the tutorial. Oh my gosh. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you guys don't know already, if you want to get Orkanos, you need to open up Mystery Way by linking both the games to Psychic Specters. You got Bony Spirits and of course, Fleshy Souls. Now, if you link these guys all together, all three of them, you guys are gonna be good to go. Uh, you talk to Mr. E, he'll give you some keys. If you guys take a look at it right over here, he gives you one of three keys when you link these games together. Uh, you've got the boar key, the deer key, and the key that we need for this tutorial is the butterfly key. If you don't have the butterfly key while uh, linking, you may need to beat the game and get an S rank watch. I'm honestly not too sure, as when I finished my entire save game, uh, we were able to get all the stuff immediately afterwards, so keep that in mind. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Uh, we're over in Mystery Way. Now, like I've said before, and I'll say it again, Mystery Way is super cool. It's filled with lots of yokai that you're going to have a fun time playing against. There is, uh, you can find uh, Days, you can find Casanova, you can find some really, really rare finds in here. So, And of course, there's tons of items, too. Now, if you guys don't have the ability to own all these older versions of the games, definitely recruit some friends. If you guys have any friends at school or around your area where you live, invite them over, get a pizza together, do some Yokai Watch 2 links so that you guys can get all the data and both the benefits of unlocking this key. Now, of course, the Yokai Watch 2 link is not online, so don't even try asking for people's pins and whatnot. It just doesn't work that way. You have no idea how many times people um, jump into my comment section asking that. It's crazy. But anyway, um, I digress. So, Orkanos, man, as you guys know, in Yokai Watch 1, he was the ultimate final boss. No, nah, Dame Dead Time, nope, not wasn't. No, Dame Dead Time was not in uh, Yokai Watch 1. I'm talking about McCracken. Some people thought McCracken was the final boss of Yokai Watch 1. Oh, he totally was not. It was Orkanos, man. Orkanos destroying souls. It was so good. So, here we go. Orkanos, the, the very awesome black Oni. Uh, this time he's got his awesome like tribal tattoos on sim simply because he's like really really hyped up uh, So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped up about this guy So of course in this spot here. We do have uh, ogre lust from our previous tutorial Make sure you guys go watch that one and of course we did get gargaro So we have all that stuff if you guys are curious as to how to get those guys watch the previous videos uh, We're also holding on to schmoopy right now. Uh, there's no sense in not holding on to one so we can afford We've got strong enough yokai that we can afford one slot I can honestly ditch all three in my back row and just go with Burly and the two Shogunyan. So, anyway, bust out your Shmoopy if you have one, or any popularity yokai. Doesn't matter if it works or not, but that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Now, we got Wallcap over here. He's like, hey, before you go in there, just know that it's very, very strong. You need some high level yokai. So, uh, we saved our game. That's one of the most important things because when you guys are going to be fighting Orkanos, he is going to be so strong, and at the same time, you are gonna to need to soft reset after every battle until you get him. So here he is. Ah, oh, good times. Good times, we are ready. Let's get this guy. So I'm gonna show you two battles with him. I'm gonna show you a battle where we don't get him so you guys understand what kind of text comes afterwards. And I'm gonna show you the money shot. We're gonna give you that money shot where uh, he does indeed befriend us. And if you were at the live stream, you knew that we did it on our fourth try. It was insane. Oh man, it was so crazy. It was so crazy. A lot of people have said that they've gotten it on their 10th, 20th, 30th try. They got it after hours of playing the game. But no, dude, we got it on our fourth try. We got really lucky with that. So I believe that all you guys can do it. I believe you can. So I'm gonna run the exact same strategy as I always do. Uh, I love Shogun. He's one of my favorite yokai. He's just so strong, so fast. He has access to the bells, but I give him the uh, Devourer Soul so that he gets better crits. And since he's got three attacks, those crits are really, really helpful. So anyway, uh, I bust out Sergeant Burley off the beginning because I love having the uh, the all stats boost on the teammates. That's really good. And it does stack with Shogunyan over here and the um, Strength Talisman that I gave him first turn. 
So of course, you are gonna lose a couple yokai, it's inevitable, unless you've got a really bulky yokai with the uh, stinging soul. So what I'm doing is I'm just like keep on reviving Burly so that he can take a hit, while the two Shogunyan just keep on dealing that damage. You can tell over here that, um, that Orkanos is gonna do like a two-hit KO on your non-tough yokai. That's just what it is. There was a Wisp that flew by, but I mean at this point we don't necessarily need Wisps because the Wisps don't do anything for us besides give us more money or more experience. So yeah, you can't find hearts and Wisps, and of course you can't... Uh, ouch, Pandanoko, he's out of here. He's like, I got my Wisp, I procked my Wisp, I'm done, see ya. But yeah, and you can't feed him either. You can't feed him marble beef, you can't feed him anything. So just keep on going with the battle. It's, it's a fairly easy battle if you have the right setups. So if you're this far into post game and you have a team of level 99s, you should be able to beat them with relative ease because it's six versus one. Come on now, you'd be able to do it. Hmm, it was a good battle, but I'm not quite sold on you yet. We should fight again later. So when he starts with hmm, then you know you didn't get him. But the moment that he doesn't say hmm, that's when you want to jump up for joy and keep on going. So as you guys can see here, we, uh, we soft reset it simply by pressing start, going over to title screen. And now we're showing you exactly what you need to do. This is great. We got it, right? We're gonna get it. So fast forward a little bit to our fourth attempt, which is really good. I don't know if that's like the best out there. I'm thinking like the best is getting on your first try, but you got video footage of that? I don't think so. So anyway, um, here we go. Gold Gleaming Highway. We're gonna go talk to him one more time. We're gonna do the exact same setup. It's just rinse and repeat. It's almost to a point where it's kind of boring because you're just doing the same thing over and over in hopes that RNG, uh, you know, random number generator, the programming inside the game, will bless you with this yokai directly after. So, uh, yeah, we did it. We're gonna do the same thing. Burly's gonna take two hits. Uh, and then he's gonna go down, and hopefully he gives us all the stat boosts we need for Shogunyan. And if we need to, we can revive Burly. We can do all that fun stuff. So, yeah, I was, I was pretty ecstatic. I was very excited. And see, Burly even guarded right here, which is great. So he guarded, that did half damage. And then now I can feed Burly his favorite food, the Nom Burger, that we've been holding onto in our pockets for like over a year. He's like, yeah, let's do it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do Reaper. That's easily a two hit KO. His uh, spirit attack or his uh, technique attack is a drain absorb. So that's pretty cool. But his stats don't really, like that's not really conducive to his stats. So if you guys have ever played him in Yokai Watch Blasters, you'll know that it's really not that great. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Shogunyan got knocked out. I honestly didn't care because I knew his HP was going to be already that low. So Shogunyan's fine. We saved ourselves a mighty medicine or a bitter medicine. It doesn't matter. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to get him. You guys can see that we got 10,000 experience points just for battling him, which is amazing. That's a lot of experience. And we got a soul secrets. Now here's the moment that we've been waiting for. I've found many strong enemies, but I've never met one with such moxie. That seems to be a theme, right? That seems to be a theme, like moxie? Just the word in general. Moxie, moxie, moxie. Very, very cool. So, man, I remember, like, when I was in the stream, and let me know if you guys were there during the stream. Man, I was, I was on the moon. I'm like, yes, this is awesome. We got him in like 20 minutes of playing on the stream. All right, guys, we're out of here. Catch you later. We'll see you guys later. So we did it. It was, it was, it was very fun. So of course, like if you guys get this message, you guys are going to be equally happy, if not even more happy because you finally have one of the most intimidating yokai in the entire game. It's insane. I want to be your ally. Uh, my power level yours will be unstoppable. There we go. Orkanos, baby. Give Orkanos a name that could be sent. Yeah, absolutely. We'll give him a name. What are we going to call him? Uh, we're going to call him uh, something. Well, he doesn't have three horns, and that's too many. <laughs> that's too many letters. So here we go. Uh, we're going to call him like Ol' what? Ol' something, right? That's got to be one of them. Taking a look at his random names. I love doing this, by the way. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's like a little something else that the game was programmed into. Super cool. So, uh, we got four different names that we're going to show. Orkanos, Ol' Cole. Ol' Cole, yeah, sure. Yeah, that, uh, we got Toasted. Pretty decent. Why? Why is he Toasted? Jet? I like Jet. Jet's a really good name. And Clubber? Eh, reminds me, like, reminds me of Flubber. So I don't really like Clubber. But that's cool. Orkanos' info is added to the medallion. We can see right here the very last befriendable yokai, Orkanos. 
Very cool. I just need to find out who those other three yokai are so that we can get that very nice page filled out. So we're here, ladies and gentlemen. You're looking pretty good. Fighting with me has made you strong. If you want to take me on once again, come back here later. All right. I'm, I'm excited for that. That's cool. That's very cool. So, of course, uh, what we need to do right now is we need to get out of Gold Gleaming Highway. Going that way is the entrance, and we're going to leave ourselves out of here. So, let me know in the comments. Like, out of all three of the Oni, who do you like the most? Or do you count Gilgaros as one of the Oni? He's like the red-headed stepchild. He's just, like, not part of the trio. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's just a legendary yokai that you summon. You don't ever battle against him. He's just, hey, you did very well with getting all these yokai. Here, take one of these Oni. So no, Gilgaros is good. I, I honestly don't mind him. He's very bulky, and that does help out. So who's your favorite Oni? And let me know why in the comment section below. So here we are. Uh, we are at the IPO, of course. Let's jump on in. Of course, the very first thing you got to do is save your game. Once you're out of there, save your game once you get your Orcanos, just so that nothing crazy happens. Like you run out of power on your 3DS, or you drop your 3DS and the cartridge goes flying out. Anyway, so I'm excited for this because we've been wanting him ever since Yokai Watch 1, man. That's 2015. That's November. What is that, like September of 2015 when we started playing Yokai Watch? When we got into it? Yeah, it was great, man. So here's uh, Orkanos looking great. 502 HP. His stats are very good. He's very, very bulky. So if you give him a Stinging Soul, he's going to be amazing. So give him the Stinging Soul. Uh, give him uh, Guard Gloriously, and he's just going to be guarding and just taking all those hits with his awesome defense. And of course, if you have another one of the Oni that gives uh, the insane defense on top of him, he's gonna be a very, very good defensive sponge for all sorts of attacks. So very, very pumped up for that. Uh, you guys can see Orkanos over here. Stat spread's pretty decent. 220 for strength is great. That's nothing to scoff at. So if he gets out of his guarding stance, then he'll just do some massive damage, or at least guard until you get your soul ultimate, and then just rock it on someone. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna find an innocent bystander yokai. Just destroy him, because that's what we do, right? Now we're we're people who have all the oni, and we just destroy everything. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna make a team full of all oni, and I'll even throw Tantroni and Suspicioni and Leodoni, and who else? Macaroni. Yeah, we'll throw him in there. So anyway, Giant Horns means he's an Oni of supreme rank. The characteristic Oni pattern stands out when his blood is up in battle. Thick Crust! Defense to increases when front and center. So that's, wow. So that's even better. His ability, Thick Crust, put him directly in the middle, give him Guard Gloriously, give him the Stinging Soul, and you've got a defensive powerhouse. I want to use this guy right now. I didn't really realize that until, oh my gosh, he's going to be good. He's going to be good for defense. Uh, so let's compare him to the regular Orkanos. Orkanos appears in the nightmares of lazy children and spanks them with his iron bat. The pain usually jolts them awake. So, did you do all of your homework? See, look at that. It's great. Like, level 5, I don't know if you guys realize this, but they try to incorporate, like, real-life lessons into the game. So, like, hey, did you do your homework? That's a thing. That's a thing for kids. You don't do your homework, then you're gonna get in trouble, right? Man, I don't know about you guys, but I always did my homework. Yep. Hey, look at that cool metal. Looks great with the uh, the purple background. Looks awesome. It almost looks like he's wearing a diaper with that white, that little white spot underneath his red little skirt there. <laughs> hey, I don't know. That's just me. You guys see it too? Orcanos. All right, so Orcanos. The difference between this one and the other one is obviously uh, you got like a babier looking face. And of course, this one's got the very cool tribal tattoos all over him and on his eyes. So that's great. He's got the exact same animations as the rest of the uh, three Oni. And of course, he does have the clobbering bat, which is pink. I, I honestly never realized his bat was pink. I thought it was just the same color as the rest of them. So there's his loafing stance, there's his get hit stance, and of course, he's got a cheering stance. And, of course, he's gonna yell at the top of his lungs that, Hey, I finally befriended you! Join me in our team of all tough yokai! It's gonna be so much fun. So, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have all four. Four? We got all four of the major S rank Oni. Uh, no, not, not Leodoni, Minimo, no, none of those guys. So yeah, we're gonna go find uh, a good friend, uh, Tough Ant, and we're gonna go beat him up, just like we did with Gargaros. Uh, he's really, yeah, it's really good. So this is kind of like, hey, haha, ha, you think you're so tough, but I survived your nightmare beat. 
And like two seconds later, whack, he's done. So there's Tough Ant, pretty cool. We're gonna show you guys his ultimate. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait, man, this is good. We have done it. We've done it. We've gotten a lot of rare yokai, man. I'm telling you, the only thing that we have left to do is get all the wickeds. We've got the um, T-Stroyer quest, and then we're done. We're absolutely done. So here we go, Nightmare Beat. You can see him just charging up that pink bat. Looking good, looking good. Oh, let's smash him. Here we go, Nightmare Beat. A boom 250. And of course he survives it, cause <sighs> tough ant. Looking like a fidget fant. Get out of here, man. You know, he's actually inspiriting me. I kinda have to go to the bathroom. Goodbye. <laughs> No, but that's perfect timing because, hey, that's the end of the tutorial video. You guys made it. Now, if you guys made it to the live stream in which we got ourselves our very first Orcanos, then definitely let me know. Let me know if you guys were there. We were part of history, man. We're getting all these very awesome yokai. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of our community. And, of course, uh, if you guys have your very own uh, Orcanos and you want to trade, feel free. Feel free. Farm as many Orcanos as you want. Use them as trade fodder. They're going to be awesome. Trade in the comments below. I want you guys on board with that. So you guys can indeed watch the entire playlist by clicking here. You guys can find the newest video on my channel there and, of course, some recommendations that way. Right here. Click on that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Yokai Watch 2 content on YouTube. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.